I read a thought-provoking anonymous quote. It said, history is not there for you to like it or dislike it. It's there for you to learn from it. And if it offends you, even better, because then you are less likely to repeat it. It's not yours to erase. It belongs to all of us. Muhammad Ali Jr., son of boxing champion Muhammad Ali, said recently that his dad would be against Black Lives Matter. He said, and I quote, it's not just black lives that matter, white lives matter, Chinese lives matter, all lives matter, everybody's life matters, God loves everyone, he never singled anyone out, killing is wrong no matter who it is, end of quote. So my question is, what is the value of a human life? If we fall into the mass mentality that only some lives matter, then we are not being fair. Let's think about this. Africa is a country of largely black people. There is major unrest in Sudan, Nigeria, Uganda, and some smaller states where the people have been oppressed and massacred for decades. When Sudan split in 2011, it's estimated that over 35,000 South Sudanese people remained as slaves in Sudan. The UNHRC, the UN Refugee Agency, found that the suicide rate among South Sudanese in Uganda in 2019 more than doubled compared to the previous year. In 2017, there were 6,712 deaths due to terrorism in sub-Saharan Africa. Now, I've never seen a global protest lamenting the lives of black Africans. No rallies in front of embassies and zilch media coverage. Does this mean that only North American black lives matter? I fail to understand the logic. Why this disparity on human lives? When dealing with the loss of human life, let's not politicize it. Let's learn from these tragedies to better our human relations. And by the way, toppling statues and trying to erase history is not the solution in my opinion. How far back can history be erased? Are people going to go back to the creation of humans because humans are flawed and have done some terrible things throughout history? But we must learn from the past mistakes so that we don't repeat them. I read a thought-provoking anonymous quote. It said, history is not there for you to like it or dislike it. It's there for you to learn from it. And if it offends you, even better, because then you are less likely to repeat it. It's not yours to erase. It belongs to all of us. Morgan Freeman, brilliant actor and speaker, doesn't think we need to focus so much on race. He says, if you talk about it, it exists, and I tend to agree with him. As far as polling on race statistics goes, I hope there will be a box for human race because that's the only box that I will tick. This is Rahil Raza for Rebel News. Don't forget to click or like www.rebelnews.com.